Hello and welcome back to the Watford Way and what a game I am reacting to today. Um, absolutely unbelievable scenes at Vicarage Road. I couldn't believe my eyes. Watford actually come back from two goals down to win against Norwich City by three goals to two. And we're going to talk about all about it all here today on the Watford Way. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts about the game in the comment section right there down below. And don't forget to leave a like on the video as well. It'd be very much appreciated. And, then, and an early Christmas present for me as well. So it'd be very much appreciated if you could do that. Um, but yes, Norwich City at home. Uh, what did I think about the game in its entirety? Well, I think for me, first of all, we have to talk, unfortunately, about the first 15 to 20 minutes in that game. Because I have to say, that was probably the worst 15 minutes of this season, if not the past couple of seasons. Um, it was really, really poor from Watford, actually. Um, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was maybe too cold for the players. Uh, it was certainly cold to me sitting there in the stands. I can't imagine what it was like running around on the pitch for 90 minutes. Um, but yeah, you know, Watford just didn't come out of the blocks looking like they wanted to be there. Um, you know, a lot of the players looked very disinterested. They didn't look like they wanted to win, um, you know, any of the duels on the pitch, any of the second balls that, that kind of fell on the floor. Um, and Norwich City looked up for it. They looked energetic. Um, and they had a game plan in mind. I think some set pieces, they knew we were weak in the area. Watford have now conceded the most amount of set pieces in the championship so far this season. I believe they've conceded nine goals now from set pieces already and we're only in November so that's a very poor stat and something that clearly needs to be worked on and that's where the first goal came from um, obviously they obviously knew that Ben Hamer was in goal our backup goalkeeper he's not really covered himself in glory in his previous appearances he's made he's only made a couple of appearances but he does look very shaky um, under any sort of any sort of pressure in the box really um, and yeah the Norwich players overloaded Ben Hamer didn't really give him a lot of space to to come out and claim the ball um, and yeah they had a six foot three player on the back post to head it in um, and yeah their first goal come after two minutes which is very unfortunate um, and yeah I thought we was going to be in for a very very long night and then it got even worse after that Ryan Porty has given away the ball after Ben Hamer passed it to him not Ben Hamer's fault at all this one I don't think although he probably could have come done better with with the attempted save. Um, but yeah, Ryan Porteous gave away the ball. Really poor touch from him. Um, and yeah, what a long range strike that was. Um, absolutely unbelievable. Probably about 35 yards from goal. Uh, and yeah, sailed over Ben Hamer's head into the corner of the net. Um, and at that point, Watford were 2-0 down, 15 minutes gone. And the game could either go one or two ways, right? Watford could have capitulated further, which we've seen in previous seasons and conceded another three or four goals. Um, or, as we saw yesterday, we can come back from two goals down to win the game by three goals to two. And let's talk about the Watford goals now. Let's get into the positivity. Um, the first goal coming by Ismail Kone. Ismail Kone, for me, has kind of grown into the season as it's progressed. He started not so well, kind of being in and out, in and out of the side. Um, but yeah, for me now, you know, he's worked his way back into the team. He's a definite starter for me alongside Jake Livermore and Edu Kayembe. I think that is our midfield three now. I think they've established themselves as, as the best midfield three at the club. I think they've all got their own attributes that, that complement each other really well. And his Mark Hone as well has a fantastic shot on him. And he picked up the ball on the edge of the box kind of ran inside um, and took a fantastic shot that went to the keeper's bottom left, uh, just in the corner. The keeper got a hand to it, um, but yeah, it wasn't enough to keep the ball out the back of the net. And he's Malcone picking up his first Watford goal after 10 months at the club. So congratulations to him. And he also could have nearly scored a second goal um, in the second half. The ball rattled off the crossbar. So very unlucky he didn't pick up a second goal there. Um, but yeah, congratulations to Ismail Kone for picking up his first goal at Watford. The second goal come via our Hertfordshire Harland, Maleta Ryovic, picking up his seventh goal already of this season. It feels like he's not been here very long, but he's already got seven goals in the Championship, which is a great return. And actually, out of all the Championship attackers and all the Championship strikers, he actually has the best minutes per goal ratio in the whole division, which is absolutely fantastic to see. I think for me personally, I've still got to be convinced by Ryovic. I don't think, aside, aside from the goals he's been scoring, I don't think he offers enough to the team. I think Keenan Davis probably offered more in terms of hold-up play last season. Um, but of course, Keenan Davis was nowhere near as prolific as Ryovic has been so far. Um, and again, he rose up in the box, 
very easy header for him really wasn't really challenged by anyone um you know it was jamal lewis with the initial cross rybich headed it into the back of the net um and that was two goals in two minutes kone with the first rybich with the second and watford were very much on top from this point and really until the end of the game to be honest um so we're going at half time i'm feeling a lot more happy a lot more positive you know, I thought it was going to be a very long night for Watford, as I mentioned at the start of the video. Uh, conceded two goals that quickly early on in the game. Um, but yeah, Watford did very well, showed character, showed good personality and good leadership qualities from certain players as well to come back from two goals down. Uh, and yeah, Yassir Espria with the winner. I think about 78 minutes in, if my memory gets me correct. Wesley Hute with a shot from the edge of the box. Goalkeeper saves it, parries the ball down to his left-hand side. Esprit is there to pounce. He poaches the ball. Does a superb ball roll. Um, such quick thinking from Yasser Esprit. If you haven't watched it back, make sure you do so on the Watford YouTube channel. Um, the ball roll to, to kind of get it away from the keeper initially is absolutely fantastic. It's such quick thinking from Yasser Esprit. Um, and yeah, goal line technology um, essentially proved the ball went over the line. I thought he did at the time. I was celebrating myself. The referee checked his watch. Um, and yeah, the ball did indeed go over the line. So Yasser Espria with the winner for Watford. And he's having a fantastic season as well. I think with Yasser Espria, Kone and some of our other younger players as well, it's taken time to grow into the season. Um, but yeah, as we're progressing throughout these games, they seem to be getting better and better, especially Espria and Kone. Um, and yeah, I've been very, very impressed indeed by both of them so far this season. So hopefully they keep it up. We've got Hull City away this weekend. So hopefully Watford can continue our good run of form. Obviously, we beat Swansea away from home not too long ago. So hopefully we can pick up another away win this season. Hopefully we're not waiting months and months and months um, to pick up another three points away from home. Hopefully we continue the run of form we've been on aside from the Leicester City game. Um, and yeah, hopefully we continue to pick up points in the championship as you can see i'm very happy i hope you guys are as well um and yeah three fantastic goals from the boys yesterday and to come back from two goals down as well you can't get a much better feeling than that in football um so yeah i am absolutely delighted thank you so much for watching the video it's very much appreciated as i mentioned at the start if you haven't already make sure to subscribe leave a like on the video and let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section down below and i'll catch you very soon for our next video as we look ahead to whole city away from home. Bye-bye.